Hey, it's Feels Good Man, and I'm back with a class guide. And one of the most requested classes was the Rocketeer. So it's good timing because Rocketeer recently got reworked and can no longer equip a secondary weapon. So RIP Rocket Secondary Mains. Um, and the Rocketeer now has three rockets to work with instead. Um, I thought it was going to feel kind of weak at first, but after playing around with it, I ended up liking it a lot and I do feel that it's pretty strong overall. Rocketeer leaves a ton of room for um, different technical abilities, so it's really, really fun to play. But also just be in mind that um, it does make your opponents rage. And when I'm playing as a guest, which is what I do when I'm testing stuff out, um, I often get vote kicked more so than if I'm playing other classes. For this class guide, I am switching up the format compared to my other class guides, and I'm gonna be focusing on 10 tips. And that's because I feel like with Rocketeer, um, the important thing is to have these different abilities in your toolkit and be able to pull them off. The other thing is that Rocketeer is banned in competitive Crunker, and it's really hard to get a four versus four um, ranked match right now, so I'm not gonna be covering the team aspect as much. So you can think of it as kind of like different um, fighting game type moves when you're brawling with the Rocketeer. Tip number one is to know where to aim. And this is something that I was doing incorrectly for a really long time and I didn't discover um, the proper way to aim with a Rocketeer until I just tested it out in a, a custom game. If you use Rocket Classes in other games, you may be tempted to aim at the ground. Like if you're playing Diabotical or Quake, um, shoot a rocket at the ground, um, knock the enemy and then uh, follow up with a direct hit, or um, if you're playing Overwatch and you're playing Farah, just spam at the ground. Um, the damage stats suggest otherwise. So a direct hit is 50 damage, and explosive damage um, has a big range from um, like 10 to 30. Um, so that's up to 80 damage. The important thing is that um, if you aim at the ground, you are likely to get explosive damage, but not direct hit damage. But if you go for a direct hit, um, you're likely to get the direct hit, hit damage and you're going to get the explosive damage almost every time. Even if my opponent is in the air jumping, if I land a direct hit, I'll still get that 50 damage plus explosive damage. So I really can't think of a time where you want to go for explosive damage because the direct hit is a lot more reliable. And if you go for the explosive damage, there are going to be situations where you're shooting at the ground and you're going to do 10 damage and that's it. Um, so you should aim for direct hits with Rocketeer. Because of the way that the Rocketeer's damage works, it does make it really strong against Hunter. I would say it does um, soft counter Hunter because Hunter can still one shot the Rocketeer with a headshot back. But this brings me to tip number two, know the shots to kill of all your matchups. I'm not talking about the time to kill, but more the shots, the number of rockets it takes to finish off your opponent, um, assuming they're at um, full HP. It's actually really simple. Hunter is one shot to kill, 100 HP classes, and um, 90 HP classes are two shots to kill, and the LMG is three shots to kill. Of course, in real games, um, people are not gonna be at full HP all the time, so you should constantly be looking for situations where the shots to kill is reduced. So um, if the um, 100 HP class takes like 30 damage and that leaves them at 70, um, you can get one rocket and it will finish them off. So um, it's important to be tracking these things as you're playing Rocketeer because you are going to have to learn how to conserve your rockets. I'll touch on more of that later, but um, next I want to start talking about rocket jumps because that's obviously um, one of the most exciting things about the class. Number three is um, learn how to perform a long jump um, with a Rocketeer. So if you're going for um, max distance, I'm going to show you the steps um, and build up um, and then I'll show you the most optimal way to do this. Um, so if you're just walking forward, um, aim at the ground, jump fire, it's about as high as I go. So too high, but not enough distance. But let's say you're stopped. So the way you should be doing this is basically um, just be strafing like W, A, so strafing left diagonal. And then um, as I'm jumping, I move my mouse um, to the left. And then what you do is you reverse the mouse and then you um, strafe in the opposite direction right as you're jumping, so WD. So it looks like this. So diagonal, um, right now I'm strafing, diagonal left. Side hop, then move diagonal right while turning. And that, that turn, that quick turn, will help you generate more, more speed. Um, so that's the first technique. Um, you don't wanna do this type of jump all the time because if you're in the air too long, you're gonna be very, very easy to hit and very predictable. This brings me to tip number four, which is um, how to do short rocket jumps. And there's a few ways to do this. 
The first is basically like you're looking right around here. So I'm dropping slide hop and then turn um, fire at that angle, like that flutter angle. Um, so jump and then fire. So that's one way to do it. And you know, I'm much lower to the ground. So um, I regain control of my character faster and I have more um, ability to like decide on my next decision. So that's one way to do it. Um, the other way to do it is um, easier. It's even easier and it's uh, utilizing aim down sights. So basically you're just gonna be jumping and hold aim down sights and then just keep on holding it. This is really a uh, useful technique. Tip number five is to utilize your knife. Um, you're gonna rely a lot more on your knife because you do not have a secondary weapon and you only have three rockets to work with. So if you don't finish off your opponent, assuming that you're close enough, um, you could basically get that last hit using the knife. So fire, switch the knife, and then slice. Um, if they are not close enough, then you can go for a bullseye. And I find myself um, throwing the knife a lot more compared to when I'm playing other classes because I don't have much options sometimes. Um, you can also use your knife for movement speed. Um, not really so much when you already have built up momentum, but to get that starting momentum going, um, just be careful about switching to knife because it could be time that you could spend reloading. Tip number six is learning how to manage your ammo and your reloads. And you should always be keeping track of how many rockets that you have left because that's going to change the strategy going into a fight. Um, so let's say you only have two rockets, then you might not want to do that um, rocket jump to initiate the fight. Um, you may need to go for two hits. Um, or if you have one rocket left, um, you may not want to take the shot at all at the enemy and instead um, rocket jump away so you can reload. Now here's an even better bonus tip and that's buffering the reload. So if I do a rocket jump, as long as I'm holding R um, before I fire the rocket, it's going to um, come out as fast as possible. The good thing about this move is that you're pretty much done with like uh, being reloaded by the time you land. Tip number seven is to learn to rocket jump off walls. And it's a really nice way to build up speed. Tip number eight is to get comfortable with the rocket jump to rocket fire combo. Really simple, form a rocket jump, and then just fire as fast as you can. Um, and don't fire more rockets than you need to, because again, you have to conserve your rockets. But if you know that um, you, they need two hits, then you'll want to do like that. Um, the other time to do this is, let's say um, you're low HP and the enemy catches you off guard and you have enough rockets left. Um, it's actually a perfect situation to just go straight up in the air so they miss a shot and then you just basically rain um, down on them with the rockets. Tip number nine is Learn to utilize both aiming down sights and also hip firing, so not aiming down sights. Um, the Rocketeer, the ADS animation, is like, it's pretty average, but um, it does waste precious time. And unlike other classes, um, Rocketeer is surprisingly accurate when you're like not ADS. However, if you're like low on rockets and you know that you need to land a shot, or if you're at medium to long distances, it is worth it. I do find it worth it to just, you know, more accurately place those shots. Plus, if you're doing like um, the short hop with the rocket into the combo, it's, you know, pretty easy to do that um, combination. I probably use both about half the time, so 50-50. Tip number 10 is learn different ways to boost your momentum, especially if you're at a standstill. The Rocketeer is kind of like Bowser in Mario Kart, where you have a slow acceleration, but um, top speed is really, really good. As I mentioned earlier in this video, you could do a short rocket jump. Of course, there's rocket jumping off the wall, which is really useful after uh, a respawn. And that, that really gives you the most speed. The thing that I mainly want to talk about is going to be a concept in Quake called circle jumping. And it's similar in Krunker. And um, this idea doesn't require a rocket. You could use it with any class, but I find it even more useful with rocket given um, its slow acceleration. A lot of people are doing this already, and um, there are also different ways to do it that are just as effective. But basically what it involves is if I just go straight and do a slide hop, 74 max speed, 
um, the way the game works is that um, there's a certain kind of like a limit to um, the amount of acceleration that can be added in a certain direction. As you're jumping and turning left, you basically cut to the right. So if I'm strafe running and I jump, then now I have 81 max speed. Again, a lot of different ways to do this, but um, it's a good way to basically quickly build up speed. Just see, I'm, I'm like basically flicking the mouse. Yeah, you should get comfortable doing this to build up speed um, when you're playing Rocketeer because you're gonna save a lot of rocket ammo that way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of 10 advanced tips on how to play the new reworked Rocketeer. I personally really had a ton of fun playing Rocketeer. You may notice that I sound even more excited um, compared to some other videos because um, it's just really fun um, to do like rocket jumping around the maps. And I really liked the change because I felt like um, previously I was just using secondary, but this really forced me to uh, use the rockets. Um, so it is really satisfying to learn. In summary, I think that you should learn a variety of tools for the Rocketeer, and maybe you're also doing ones that I am not. So um, just knowing a bunch of different techniques will help you determine which one is best to use in certain situations. I still have plenty of room to practice Rocketeer tech skill, but I do believe at a certain point, um, it's gonna become more about decision-making instead of technical ability when it comes to the Rocketeer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of this video. And if you're not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll see you guys next time.